on the island of Hispaniola, which it shares with the Dominican Republic, Haiti becomes another Caribbean scene of crisis. Ever a land of turbulence, this citadel, built by the assassinated tyrant Henri Christophe, seems symbolic of the troubled land, a brooding mass of masonry erected without concern for the abject poverty that has been the way of life for the average Haitian for generations. Though Haiti was the first Latin American country to achieve independence, it is one of the world's poorest nations. Since attaining its freedom, it has suffered 130 political convulsions. But the Haitians, with an average annual income of about $70, make the best of their lot and continue the carnival traditions of France, the nation against which they revolted in 1804. Modern Haiti was launched in 1945 with the election of President Dumarsay Estime, but he was ousted by revolution in 1950. His successor as chief executive was Paul E. Maguire, a leader backed by the military, which staged a victory parade on the occasion of his ascension to office. He was overthrown in 1956. In 1957, the National Palace in Port-au-Prince was occupied by Dr. Francois Duvalier. Two years ago, this medical man turned politician declared himself re-elected president in an election for which he never proclaimed a candidacy, a situation that made necessary the organizing and training of a personal palace guard. It was the slaying of four of these men and an alleged invasion of the sanctuary of the Dominican Embassy that sparked the current crisis. Haitians today are mostly of African ancestry, with a prosperous 5% elite minority of mulattoes. The former are a carefree, happy people who meet adversity with humor and the dance. But they are capable of being very explosive. 